you line. What I'm going to talk about today is actually based on some questions that we've been getting. So keep them coming. This is how we create our video content. But we had some folks ask about just a little bit more information on why you would choose certain tools. So kind of when and why. So the three that we're going to be talking about today are going to be your selection tool, which looks like that mouse arrow. Your move and resize tool that kind of has all the little arrows going in the different directions. And then down at the bottom, the pan tool, because it's happy to see it. Uh, so it's giving you a little wave. So what I'm in is I'm actually in the browser on the home screen of the panel. I've logged into my Engage account, and I just have some different um, kind of items up here. So we're going to start with the selection tool. So again, think of it essentially as a mouse. So that is going to take you places. Um, if you want to select something, if you want to click something, um, so one of the easiest ways to kind of think about it, if you are embedding links, you can see it says click. So you're going to want to click right there. Um, but that will take you into, you know, anything that you add, things of that sort. <clears throat> if you have factory form, exact same thing, you need to click and select an answer. So if I go in, I have the puzzle playground, all I have to do is select. And I have my pop-ups block, but I'm going to go ahead and show that. So you may have to do that. And the link that I included was right into this game, which is uh, the country toad, if you will, countries and capitals. So now my students can get in here. They can play. They were doing this from their own device. They would do the selection tools. Let me go back. And when they would click the link that I've embedded in our lesson, uh, right away it would open up to the exact game or item I want them to work with. So that is the selection tool and pairing it with embedded links. Uh, of course, looking down, if you're using our factory form where you can create questions and all sorts of fun things, little knowledge checks. Uh, like I always say in training, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, so as you're staring at your panel, just depending on how frisky you're feeling, uh, nothing, you're a genius nothing is going to go wrong. Uh, perhaps you're like, you know what? Everything's going to go wrong, but I know tech support's going to help me, so it'll be okay. Or hey, let's find out. We're going to roll the dice. So of course, being in that selection tool, because you want to choose an item, uh, I feel pretty confident uh, that nothing is going to go wrong. So I can go ahead and select that. And then I would want to submit my answer. So that's where that selection tool will come in handy. We're going to shift gears now into the move tool. That's for when you want to be doing drag and drop and moving items. And I know sometimes that can kind of overlap because you think with your mouse, it can click and drag. We're separating those out and engage. So that way you're deliberate and your students are really having to choose what it is that they want to work with and do. So if I was to move up to the top of my panel here, to the top of my board, I'm going to go into my move tool because I want to work with drag and drop. I want to select things. So what I did is I actually grabbed from our mind maps and our gizmos because we gaze at our gizmos. They have fabulous things. Uh, our cause and effect mind map with options. So if we wanted to talk about my little hamster here, I can select him with the move tool. So I'm using the move tool to actually select him because my goal is I wanna move him over here. So it's always about the goal. If you just wanna select something but not move it, you're gonna select it. But when you wanna move it and drag and drop and have those features where you can make something come to life, you're gonna go ahead and use the move tool. So if I had a hamster that looks as cute as him, that is going to make me happy. Uh, so the hamster will make me happy. Uh, that is the cause and effect. Uh, just like if we were talking about weather, perhaps after thunderstorms, we do have the opportunity to get rainbows. You can use that for anything. These are just a couple of examples. So for my math folks out there, again, being able to drag and drop numbers into equations, and we have a lot of math manipulatives, excuse me, for my English language folks, especially if you're working with prefixes and suffixes, or maybe you have, you know, different letters and you can start bringing them up to do games and things like that, or creating words, uh, really whatever you can come up with, wherever your mind can go, you can go there, which is fabulous. Select to click, move to drag and drop. 
The next tool I did want to talk about because it does come up is that hand tool. So that little hand again, woo, happy to see you. This is what you're going to use when you want to actually pan around and move things around. Uh, so you can zoom in, you can zoom out. Uh, so if you wanted to just work with one part of your lesson, you can really highlight just a certain part of your board. So you're just going to pan around, but it's going to give you access, obviously, to everything uh, and really give you the opportunity to manipulate what you're using and when. So hopefully that helps. Again, one final recap. The selection mouse is your click clickaroo. Uh, you're going to use that to click things. The move navigation tool, drag and drop, moving things around. Uh, you also have the option, if I have to grab the tool first, uh, if I move things around, you can resize as well. So I'm extremely happy now. And then, of course, your pan tool, you can just pan around and see everything that you have on your board. Please keep the questions coming. If there's anything else that you want to see happening in the Engage platform, let us know. Reach out. Of course, more content to come. And thank you so much for tuning in. We'll talk again soon. Take care.